back at it again. Hey, I'm tell you, back at it again. Hey, back at it again. <laughs>
So the first seven days, um, he sent it out, the bird came back, to which indicated it wasn't ready. After another seven days, he sent out the dove again. And this time the dove came back with a piece of an olive leaf. So that was telling you, okay, now the trees are starting to be seen again. Now the water is really starting to go down because we're starting to get leaves from the branches of the trees, right? After another seven days, Noah sent out the bird again and the bird didn't come back. So that was an indication like, okay, time, it's, it's time. It's not ready. Everything is cool and gravy. The water has gone down. We have survived, okay? He lowered down the side of the ship. All the animals were set to go free and reproduce because now they were able to, they got their partner and now they were going to enjoy nature and be fruitful, right? So after he released the animals in order for them to go be fruitful and go reproduce, he built an altar for God. And that was a way of showing God um, an offering. So he would take the clean animals and he would kill them all the altar. And then God would smell like the fragrance of the animals and he would just be pleased with the smelling of the sacrificed animals because it was an indication of, you know, them Noah showing glory to God by offering him bird offering. After that, God had made a promise that said that he would never flood the earth again. That like really spoke to God. He was like, I'm never going to do that again. Even though I know that my children are going to be like, their hearts are gonna to wanna to do evil just naturally, right? Just because their parents who are Adam and Eve, like just because they ate from that tree, like naturally you're gonna to wanna to do bad. So it's just like, I already knew, I said, I already know they're gonna to wanna to start to do evil at an early age, but I'm never going to destroy my children again. I will never flood the earth again. And he did that by the sign of the pretty rainbow, which was an indication. Like every time there was a rainbow, you know that it's God's promise that he would never com do complete destruction for again. That is really how amazing God is. Like even though he knows that we are damned for all bad, even at an early age, we're damned for all bad. He will still never do that to us again. When God makes a promise, child, when God makes a promise, child, he don't go back on his promises. Period. After everything that happened, my boy, my man Noah needed a drink. Okay, he needed a strong drink after being on that ship for six months. So he ended up getting drunk and falling asleep naked. Like just naked. He got drunk, he passed out. Ass out, everything. He just out, right? So his youngest son comes in and sees that he is naked. So he tells his older brothers, his older brothers, they come, they put a cloth over their back and they start walking backwards so they don't see him swinging around, his dangling swinging around. And they come, they walk back and they cover him. After that, Noah lived about 350 years after in a total of 950 years old when he finally passed. I mean, talk about a story. So I hope you guys like this video on my second story time for Genesis part two. Make sure you stay tuned for Genesis part three. Make sure that you like, comment, and tell a friend, and tell a friend, and tell a friend. Until next time, y'all.